Burger cheese? Hot dog. A hamburger. To say that there's the opposite of a cheeseburger means that it has like a bias of some sort, right? But not necessarily opinionated bias, but that means it has to have something to go off of. It's too, it's too various in my mind. I mean, there's too many things. Look at this, look at this picture. Okay, you got the 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 bun, the the lettuce. The, the hamburger part, the patty things, the cheese, the tomato, the, the, you would think the opposite would not include the cheese. Okay. If you just take away the cheese, it's still a burger. Like, there's no opposite, I don't know. Okay, so me personally, I was going to say Batman. Okay, so according to Maddie, the, oh, don't call me the opposite oh. of a cheeseburger is an almond bomb. But I asked her what the opposite of vanilla is, and she almost said chocolate. So I just disproved her whole point. I didn't though. I'm not gonna get into the whole chocolate and vanilla <laughs> thing there. Because I believe, I've been indoctrinated from my youth to believe that chocolate and vanilla were opposites. My puppies grabbed onto my brother's pants on his butt and would not let go. They ripped the whole back of his pants off. It was probably like 11 o'clock at night and I was at my boyfriend's house, but keep in mind, 11 o'clock at night, like my bedtime is 10. I don't even care if it's the weekend, like my bedtime is strictly 10 o'clock. So it's 11, I'm not even at home. I still have to drive home after this. And I get up off of the chair and I go like to walk around the island to grab a glass of water. And I get to go like sit on the bench. I missed the bench, landed on the floor, and the water went all over me. One time, uh, I got a call from my mom. She had lost her phone. And <laughs> I decided to play along to see how long until she realized. <laughs> so I spent five minutes giving her suggestions of where to look on the phone. <laughs> before she finally realized. My puppies. Aliens. And I almost get excited to talk about these jokes. I am always excited to talk about my car and driving because I love driving. What's its name? Jenna. <laughs> Whether people like it or not, if they mention anything related to Marvel or even the same name as a character from Marvel, I'm going to a very minute debate with them whether they like it or not. My favorite hobby is wrestling and soccer. I love kicking boys' butts. <laughs> My favorite hobbies are cheerleading and football. I do both and I love both. Playing the piano, I've played since the age of six. Classical, contemporary, I improvise sometimes, not well, but I do. My favorite hobby is crafts and then going to craft shows and selling them. When I was 13, uh, I was cornered in a bathroom. Two of my friends, quote unquote, said they were going to shove Reese cups down my throat. When my mom went to the school to handle the bullying incident, um, they, my mom was told that they was an empty threat, basically, that peanut butter is not a weapon, even though I'm highly allergic to it. The hardest lesson I've learned is not letting people get to you, because that's like really hard, especially when you have a PI, because people just think you're faking it or you're not like really that sick. It's hard to remember to not listen to what people have to say because their opinion doesn't matter. The only person whose opinion matters is you. Climate change. Racism for like every race ever, because that's not fair to anyone. The problem that I'd like to see solved is ableism. I mean, that's just injustices against the general disabled community. People tend to just sort of push us off to the side, not try and look at us, not try and include us. So, you know, I'm very happy that there are strides towards anti-ableism. Like now in applications, disabled people are considered a protected community, similar to race and ethnicity, so yeah. So 
I always have a good answer for that because I thought a lot about what makes a day a good day. And to me, what makes a day a good day is if I get to do one thing in the day that makes me happy and one thing that makes someone's life a little bit better that day. And so that's kind of my goal to complete every single day, and that's what makes my day really good. So, yes. Almost Woo! every day.